All right, guys, let's do a message for my Geminis out there. You can also reverse this if you need to, and it can also be for Crosswatcher. Um, man Eater. Yep, we're going to title this Man Eater. Now, some of you are like, I know exactly what that is. And some of you are like, whoa, what? What kind of title is that shit? Well, Man Eater is the mascara that I use. Yep, that's how I got your, your message today, what I decided we were going to get your message off of. Because I was sitting here doing my mascara, and I just like, I mean, I'm, I'm aware of the name, but I never really, like, really thought about it. And I pulled it away, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, Man Eater, Man Eater. So I got the uh, details of Man Eater right here on my phone. Let's talk about it. This eye opening, that's, there you go, eye opening. <laughs> this eye opening mascara finds and flutters every lash. Doesn't leave anything out. Okay, you're very detailed, I want to say. And also, you've been eye-opening for someone. Something about you, something regarding you has been very, like, blown the fuck out of someone's mind, okay? Everything, they see everything about you now. Maybe this is someone who, uh, you know, think about eyelashes without mascara. Yeah, they're beautiful, but you have a hard time seeing all the little fine hairs because they're light. Even if you have dark eyelashes, you still, you got to get real close to see every little tiny hair. That's why when people get their eyelashes done, like um, eyelash extensions, it takes a little bit because you got to get in every little hair. This person, whoever I'm picking up on, unless it's reversed, is saying something about you or maybe something you've said. I don't know, but it's been eye-opening, okay? Kind of reminds me of Taurus's a little bit. And I see it all now. Massive volume, infinite length, and extreme curl makes eyes appear bigger and lifted with one coat. Ultra creamy formula conditions lashes so it won't flake, clump, or smudge. Cruelty free. <laughs> 16 hour long wear. Okay, well, look, you get the idea. It's most mascaras say the same thing, but this one's a bit different, okay? So let me tell you the words that are standing out to me. Eye opening, uh, finds every lash, it covers everything covers everything so let's say this you're uh you're on point about someone someone trusts your instinct your intuition your knowledge they trust your words um you help them see things in a different way that they've not been able to see things before They haven't before. All right, cruelty free. And you're coming from a good place. Now the name is fun. That's fun. So let's look up man eater. Just we're just gonna type in man eater minus the mascara on Google. Man eater definition. An animal that has a propensity for killing and eating humans. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because, well, the reason I say that's funny is because um, I've been picking up on the show Hannibal. And for like a month now, I've been picking up on specific Aries messages. So you could be connected to an Aries. I've been picking up on animals and like animal nature and animal instincts and animal insights and just animal, 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 animal planet. You and me, baby, and nothing but mammals, so let's do And you're a freak. If somebody likes that you're a freak or you give off freak, it's giving freak, you know, but also tamed like lady in the street, freak in the sheets. More than a freak, like dominatrix, like I know how to act out here, you know, but I also will, I'll spank you. Ain't gonna be no putting me over your knee. I'm gonna put you over my knee, okay? And if you act wrong, I'm gonna punish you for it. And you're gonna like it. It's something like that, okay? But also, yeah, um, Hannibal. And I said I, I I didn't have time to watch it, but I've been I've been watching a little bit of it, and I'm really getting into the show. I'm like, oh my god. So maybe someone's been acting like a little bit of a devil here, because in the show, Hannibal's basically the devil, basically Satan. And I'm not gonna explain the show. I could, I could, because I really I'm liking it. But it was canceled after three seasons. So here's the thing. Are you canceling your love on somebody? Have you been like canceling your love on someone or kind of pulled back or something like this? You know, you're just like, screw it. And it's like, because no, we don't need no little Dayton, Dayton's, Dayton. I'm here in Dayton, Ohio. We don't need any little devils over here. I need a little Satan. It was a little mix of devil and Satan. And I got Dayton. Dayton, 
Dexter. Yeah, we don't need none of that. If you're going to act out in my life or try to come up in here and stir up feelings or be a little naughty with me or something, like you're going to have to know how to act. It reminds me of Rose off of, um, if it's on Rose, Roses. Roses. Um, Rose on Titanic. How she is so proper and she just looks at Jack from the top of the deck when they first see each other and they like eyes on each other and it's like, don't look at me like that. Like they could tell, you know, you're just like, you, you, you're you classy as well. You know how to hold yourself in, in one way, but also you got, I'm telling you, you got a side to you. Unless this is reverse, this is how you see another person. And so they may be thinking, damn, you're going to chew me up and spit me out. Like you're going to, like I literally see latex. I see somebody with them, you know, them hills that are real tall, real tall hills with a high heel, like straight up. I see it being painful painful because you're not making it easy on somebody you haven't made it easy on them and the reason you haven't made the made it easy on them is because they can be a little bad boy they can be a little bad boy bad girl they can think that they can just kind of act any type of way and while sometimes that's fine you're not gonna let anybody run over you period so whether it's somebody you're just now talking to somebody you were talking to that right now you're kind of showing them listen i don't lose myself over a lover I will never do that again. Oh, you've done it before, so you've learned also. You're smart. And now, quite literally, you're a man-eater. I'm not saying you eat human meat like uh, Hannibal in the show. <laughs> no. You may not even eat meat at all, you know? You may be like, no, suck it yourself. Like, suck it yourself. I'm not doing it. I'm over here doing this. You see me working? Unless you're trying to pay my bills over here. Like, damn. So, basically, you have a type of structure in your... <laughs> in your life you're funny too you have a type of structure in your life current partner we're just going to keep on the, i forgot to keep counting like the different types of ways you know this person but either way you've got this structure in your life you've got this thing kind of going for you a lot of you are single though and someone sees that and they love it so much and they they want to ravage you they want to ravage you they uh they want to but you've helped them see something you've helped them see that maybe they can't always act like this. That maybe some people are gonna be okay with it, but you're not. You're not okay with it. And you're not trying to change anybody. Like, that's fine, go be like that. You wanna be like that, be like that. You wanna act like that, that's fine. You wanna be a little freak boy or something? Be like that. I'm not even gonna shame you, nothing, but go do it over there. Don't do it over here. Don't do it over here. <laughs> not gonna happen. I'm hearing wind up toy, wind up doll. Jack in the crap, jack in the box. Like you're just checking the box. You check every box of this person's. And, you know, they may have enjoyed people that they can kind of, uh, especially naive people, they enjoy people who have been a little bit naive with them. But deep down, it's like they really want your punishment. They want your punishment. That's how I hear it. They want your punishment. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could see that. You know, my favorite teachers always, like, in, I'm talking about college right now. In college, even though at the time I couldn't, I couldn't really. I'm thinking of one off the top of my head. I really couldn't. I really didn't. I couldn't. We just didn't mesh. Okay, we, we really didn't mesh. Um, I thought I thought this individual was a complete awful person just hateful mean too serious you know but I but then she would also joke and be fun but I just don't know like when it came to certain things she was just too serious or too strict or something or too like <clears throat> you know but let me tell you I actually learned the most from her I learned the most from her and I paid the most attention because it was almost like she demanded it like fuck you know when I was in her class I had to fucking pay attention you know because she didn't play and that's what I'm getting here it's like I could tell jokes and we can have fun all day and stuff, but when it comes to my life or being in my life or something like that, I'm actually very serious and, you know, I can cut up with the best of them and I got, I got jokes for days, but there are things I'm actually very serious about and things I don't mess around about. And when it comes, you know, to those things, I will not yield. I will not bend. I know what I want. I know what I will do and I know exactly what I won't do. 
and I know what you aren't going to do is try to think you're going to pull the wool over my eyes and manipulate me. Because, see, that's what Hannibal did in this show. He's, um, I'm, I'm still on the, no, I'm actually on the second season already. Admittedly so. I'm already on the second season. Anyways, so Hannibal is like, well, manipulative. Think of the devil. Um, just doing the most over there and uh it, but now he's starting to get seen through so like it took you a minute to see somebody's ways but once you started seeing it you're like they think i can't see this in fact the last episode i just watched i think i looked over here somebody got like vertigo or something to do with their vision anyway it maybe that's just me saying it took a minute for you to see this person like entirely kind of how what was going on here and you started to see and i'm not saying you're thinking someone's a bad person i'm not saying that at all uh, they're just they got some little naughty ways they got some naughty ways about them and you may just be like look do they have blue eyes because for some reason i'm drawing a blue eye right here unless you just have like an evil eye somewhere like the actual emblem a blue evil eye but uh maybe it's hung somewhere or set somewhere like but I'm, I'm drawing a blue. Oh my God, it's on my middle finger. And you're like, I see you. I fucking see you. <laughs> I see you. Don't make me turn it upright, you know? Right now it's in the challenge position. <laughs> it's in the challenge position. Don't, this is a stick up. <laughs> oh my God. Like you're just, <laughs> you may have even scared somebody. You're like, look at you over there trying to scare me. Okay, anyway, the episode that I just watched last night, I was falling asleep with it, is the the other main character with Hannibal uh can't see it at first he can't see that Hannibal Hannibal's his um therapist Hannibal's the devil remember and so the the guy Will the main character with Hannibal can't see that he's the devil at first he can't see he's manipulating him the whole time but then he ends up seeing it he literally sees him in his true form he sees the the devil not not him in his human form in the skin he's like I see you that's this I see you don't make me shoot it you know what I mean <laughs> wow you're just like don't mess with me you know what I mean and something you know some of y'all done made this devil fall in love I fooled around and fell in love I fooled around and fell in Come on, devil, you can't fall in love. How does the devil fall in love? Anyway, so someone's getting real close to falling in love with you, and it's the more you resist them, that's the more you resist them, the more you done close the chapter, close the book, done donated it to Goodwill, trying to get it out of your home, sage this shit, that's the more it's knocking at your door. It's just sitting there waiting on you to open it, just like, you gotta open the door, Jim, you gotta open the door, and you're like, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin have you changed have you straightened it up are you gonna act right are you gonna come forth and tell me who you really are and because you right now you think i don't see it but i do and listen if you want to be a devil that's fine be a devil i'm not gonna try to change you i'm not gonna try to change the devil but just don't try to like pull me into it and definitely don't try to manipulate me because i really don't like people trying to manipulate me you think you're gonna chew me up and spit me out it's oh i'm hearing somebody say boy sit down i straight up see a dominatrix here i straight up <laughs> i see somebody who's like and that's interesting too because it's like no one else may have been able to see this person's true colors just how they can be a little bad boy sometimes or a bad girl but you know but there's something about you. Maybe you're able to see how somebody truly is or what they're really working with or what's going on in their life, you know, because you've dealt with a lot of your own demons or you also know the dark and the light. So you're able to see it. You have great discernment. Did my, oh, I didn't, did I set an alarm? Did the alarm already go off? Anyway, you have great discernment when it comes to people. You can see shit from a mile away. But you don't always see it necessarily all of it in its entirety up front. But you can always get some sort of feeling up front. Like, mm, whether you listen to that or not is kind of up to you. But eventually you started to listen to it when it came to this person. And you were like, okay, that's, I'm just going to. I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to sit over here. I'm just going to do my own thing over here. And this person's like, no, where are you going? No, where are you really going? Like, they're in intrigued by you. And if you could read people's minds, especially theirs like 
it's they think they're falling in love with you. I don't know if it's genuine love, but somebody thinks they're actually falling in love with you now and you're like, damn, now finally, finally, after all this time, or even if it's somebody new, you're like, oh, oh okay. It's like, uh, let's say you're put into a room full of scientists and <laughs> nobody can figure out this puzzle. Nobody can crack the code. Nobody can figure out the cicada thing. You know what I'm saying? And like you do, you crack it in like 0 0.9 seconds. You just figure it out. And everybody's like, <gasps> and then they become like a sapiosexual. And then they're like really magically in love with you out of nowhere because they're like, oh my God, I've never seen anybody so smart like that. And they're really falling in love with your mind and what you can do and your gifts, your spirituality, your your talents, your almost like powers in a way, powers, power, powers, the powers that be, they know you're protected. Um, I don't know, but there's also this like, I don't want anyone else to have you type vibe. I, I know what your value is. I don't want anyone else to have you. Like, you can't be fooled. I'm not saying you haven't been fooled, and I'm not saying that you can't get tricked a little bit, but you can even play along with the best of them. Like, you may even play along for a little bit just to see how much someone's going to, like, something about giving you a little more rope, or you give them a little more rope, and then they finally start showing you their true colors all the way. They're thinking they're playing you, but actually you're kind of not playing them, but you're just kind of like, no, they're going to show me. Some of you, this wasn't romantic or isn't romantic if it's current tense. Some of you, this is a, this was a friend. This was a friend. And, uh, I don't know, you could have been double crossed or something by someone before. I don't know. That's not for everybody. I don't even want to get into that as I feel like it, this was more romantic tone, whether it's someone from the past, a stranger or a current person or something like that, a new person. If it was a friend, they, um, Boy, they not only tried to pull you into some dark shit, they tried to put it over you too, like literally on your head. Um, then they, when things, when you quit talking to them, quit being friends with them, quit, when you cut them off, they really tried to go against you, probably magically, energetically, if you know what I'm saying. And then they started to see like, oh, it's not working. Like, who am I dealing with here? And you're like, you're fucking mirror. That's what you're dealing with here. It's like when the scorpion starts stinging itself. Have you ever seen those Halloween costumes that are like split down the middle? One's the devil and one's an angel? Well, that's kind of who I'm picking up on here. Not them, but like you. Unless this is reverse. It's like, I am balanced in both my light and my dark. Like they thought you were naive. At first they thought that maybe, I don't know, but anyway, somebody in all situations may have thought you were naive at first or too sensitive because that's the guy in the show, Will. Like, maybe too much of an impact that you take on so many energies. Yes, you're talented, but you're maybe, like, um, I don't know. I just, it's kind of not great at first, like, the way somebody thought of you. Like, maybe that they could pull the wool over your eyes. And you're like, I like blankets. I like wool. Wool is nice. Wool can, you just, like, work with it. You're fucking hilarious. You can just work with anything that's thrown at you. You're just like, yeah. Wool can do a lot of things. You want to pull the wool over my eyes. Oh, now we're talking. I'm getting into some kinky shit over here. And they're just like, you know, and then they start liking it. Like there's a side of them that starts liking it or starts wanting to be in your life or be back in your life or be your friend again or something like that. And you're just like, screw it. I'm going to go. This was a good message. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, man eaters, I hope you have a great day out there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me and I will talk to you later. Bye.